Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Brandon Bell. He's the Metcalf County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Now, Brandon, this has been a great first cutting of hay, but it's not always this way. Right. But moisture is still something that we need to be concerned about. But a lot of people say, well, Brandon, how do I know? Right. Well, we, uh, we need to find some way to measure moisture and to monitor temperature. And we, we want to keep those large packages, large bales, 15, 18% moisture. That's where we want them, that hay to go into the, to the bale at. Small squares, 20 to 25% moisture. And so how do we know that? There are several ways you can do it. You can get as technical as doing a microwave test and drying all the moisture out and collecting some different weights and seeing what percent of that total was, was water. Or you can use um, some temperature and moisture measuring devices. Um, we keep these at the extension office. We've got two different types. Um, this is a Winrow moisture meter. It does not do temperature. And then this one is to use after it is, is bailed up. Um, the thing is, you, you've got to be careful um, putting too much trust in these tools because Dr. Jimmy Henning has done quite a bit of work testing the accuracy of these tools. And uh, we did some uh, on baleage at the beginning of the year. And we compared this Winrow moisture meter to a microwave test, and then he took some back to the lab. And the microwave test versus this, there was uh, four or five points difference. This read about four to five percent lower than it read on the microwave test. It read drier. Uh, when he actually got it back to the lab, this was 10% off. Well, when you're dealing with wet baleage and you're shooting for 40 to 60% moisture, you can, can deal with a little error. There, there's room for error. But when we're trying to get something down to 15 or 18%, and this may be 10 points off, it's really hard to do. Now, I feel like the accuracy may be somewhat it may be some closer uh, on dry hay that I don't think there's going to be as much variation on dry hay, but just remember that this is not exact. Um, so use, use instruments like this with caution. Uh, this instrument that is actually designed to be used once it is bailed up, I use this more for temperature monitoring because what can happen is when this hay is heating up, it's going through a sweat. Even if it is baled at 15 to 18% moisture, it's gonna heat some and probably gonna get up, you know, over 100 degrees, hopefully it'll stay less than 130. But what happens if we probe a roll of hay with this after it's been set in a few days, and we hit this moisture button on here, it's gonna scare us to death. Because what this is doing, instead of it measuring the inner stem moisture content of that actual hay, it's measuring that sweat. So when it starts to heat, the roll begins to sweat, it may have gone in the bale at 16 or 17% moisture, and it may show up 25 or 30 on this and it scare you to death when that's actually just measuring sweat. So once it's in the bale after it's set a few days, let's just use this to monitor uh, our temperature. Now, if we wanna go out here in the field and roll the roll and immediately probe it before it has time to sweat and see if we're gonna be okay, that's when we can use the moisture feature of this tester. You know, most people, what they will do is they will monitor and monitor and wait for it to reach a peak and then start going down and stabilize at a satisfactory temperature. It is possible though, however, for it to go through a second heat and get hotter the second time than, uh, than it did the first time. So multiple heating cycles are possible. You can't leave it sitting out forever. And I've seen people try to leave it set out long enough to where it will stabilize and, and then it just keeps raining and raining and I've seen fungus and mushrooms and everything else growing on the top of it. Once you get to that point, do you even really need to put it in the barn? It's an art. People um, just, just need to, to learn how to monitor, what to look for, get it in the bale at the right moisture content and just keep a close, close eye on it and, and just don't take any chances. It's a definite puzzle. You have to weigh all your risk, look at the weather, monitor your temperature, but all the information that you can get to make that decision.
information. If you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.